Hey, what's up? It's GC Kinsey, here to talk about how I came to understand my lack of sexual attraction as an expectation versus reality problem, and how that perspective might help any of my fellow aces out there. There's a common thread I hear in a lot of asexual narratives, which goes something like, I've never been interested in sex. Many aces who share their stories will say something to this effect, and most lists that say you might be asexual if will start out with this point. And when I was first questioning and exploring my asexuality, this really threw me for a loop, because that wasn't how I felt about sex at all. It was very clear to me that I didn't feel this thing most people around me seem to feel called sexual attraction, but I didn't experience a lack of interest in sex either. So that made me wonder where this narrative came from. What made so many people equate attraction with interest? Why did a lack of sexual attraction manifest so differently for me than it did for other aces? Was I missing something here? I have to admit this made me doubt myself a little, especially in the early stages of my questioning process. So I want to put a different narrative out there, my personal narrative, in case any of my fellow aces find it relatable, especially those of you who may be experiencing similar doubts. So here goes. I was interested in sex from the moment I was old enough to know what it was. I was curious about it. I was intrigued by it. I wondered what made it so appealing and so enjoyable to so many people. I consumed as much media about it as I could get my hands on. Books and movies with sex scenes, songs with innuendo-filled lyrics, magazine articles, scientific papers and documentaries, you name it. I even tried my hand at writing some literatica of my own. I didn't want to actually do it, not even after I got to the age where most of my peers were. I never looked at another person and thought, wow, I really wish I could jump their bones. Occasionally there would be someone I would want to date and cuddle and maybe kiss, but that was it. But was I still interested in sex as a concept? Yeah, I just thought of it as sort of this fascinating mystery that I would discover the answers to one day. Of course, what actually happened was that sex turned out to be this expectation versus reality problem, which only grew bigger and bigger the older I got. It started with kissing when I was 17. So not even sexual, just sensual, but you know, still something physical. I'd heard so many great stories from my friends about their first kisses. I'd been looking forward to my own when the right person finally came along. I was excited to find out what it was like. And the answer was kind of underwhelming. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad. There were even things I liked about it, like the intimacy and the closeness. But there were also plenty of times when I would be in the middle of making out and think to myself, do people really enjoy this as much as they say they do? And do they really feel compelled to take it further? I could never understand the concept of getting caught up in the heat of the moment. Because in so many of those moments, there was this little voice in the back of my head wondering, can't we just skip to the cuddling afterward? And without getting into TMI territory, I'll just say this feeling continued and magnified as I got older and started trying new things that did cross the line from sensual into sexual. That gap between my expectations and the reality I was feeling kept growing wider and wider and wider until I could no longer escape the fact that this whole sex thing just wasn't for me. No matter how curious I was about it, no matter how intriguing or fascinating I found it, no matter how much I enjoyed it in fiction. Whatever it was that made other people want to have sex with each other was something I just did not have. I think the fact that I did find sex interesting and that I wasn't sex repulsed was a big part of why it took me so long to figure out that I was ace. It disguised my lack of sexual attraction until I was well into my 20s. But once I finally understood my orientation for what it was, my expectation versus reality problem made a ton of sense. The only problem was that it didn't fit with how so many other aces came to understand their orientation. But I feel like I can't be the only one who figured it out that way, right? I mean, I have a friend who didn't realize he was gay until he started dating a woman and things got physical. It wasn't a lack of interest in women that made him realize, it was a lack of attraction in the form of that same expectation versus reality problem after he'd already gotten involved with one. 
and I'm sure there has to be at least one other ace who discovered it through that lens too, who maybe didn't have a lack of interest in sex even if they had a lack of sexual attraction. So if that's you, please know that you're not alone in the way you feel, and it absolutely does not make you any less ace. The popular narratives around queer identities don't fit every person. I would even argue don't fit most people. Not every gay person knows from the time they're young. Not every trans person is plagued by crushing dysphoria. And not every ace person has a lack of interest in sex. It's our lack of sexual attraction, not interest, that ties us together. How we discover that lack of attraction can happen in all kinds of different ways. And your journey, no matter what it looks like, is just as valid as anyone else's. Whether you're ace or not, I hope you found this video helpful or relatable in some way. And now I would like to hear from you. Have you ever experienced an expectation versus reality problem around sex or romance? If so, how did it shape your understanding of your orientation? What questions do you have about all of this? Drop a comment below and let's get a discussion going. You can also reach out to me on other social media. I am GC Kinsey across all platforms. And while you're here, feel free to check out one of my other videos. I've got more vlogs like this one about my experiences as a queer person, along with cosplay music videos, makeup tutorials, pre-testosterone voice recordings, and more right here on this channel. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything new. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you learned something, and I will see you on the next one.